Hi, hello. My name is Zambo, and I got a new sheet from AliExpress. It's pan nuclear radiation detector. I believe it's name HSF3, if you want to find it. Yes, exactly like that. The English manual will guide us through turning it on and off, setting the alarm. But what's important is that we can set the alarm through pressing both buttons at once, so it will probably be helpful later. Uh, USB-C cable, I believe it's charge, charging only, so no data from this little device. And Geiger counter itself, quite nice small package. Pretty good plastic. Nothing that exceptional, but it's okay. Under the rubber cap, we probably have a charging port. Yeah, let's see. No reset button. It's, uh, it's fine. Let's try it on. It greets us with a welcome. And quickly we have a screen with dosage rate. It's 0 0.9 microsieverts per hour. It should be a normal background radiation amount. Second screen is total mass dose. Third screen is average dose. And maximum dose that was uh, detected through the life cycle, run cycle of the detector. And if the manual didn't lie, if we press two buttons at once, a little lock that was here disappeared. And we can get two more screens. It's a dose rate alarm. After exceeding this dose, it will start beeping. And dose alarm, which is a total accumulated dose alarm. So, for example, if through the whole day you exceed 100 uh, microsieverts, it will start beeping as well. I will now turn it off and try to deassemble it without destroying or shocking myself because there should be a high voltage board as well to get the Geiger tubes working. Under the rubber band should be some kind of screw or at least a hint how to deassemble it. I can see a plastic seam, so it's either a screw on or pushed in cap. It doesn't want to screw out, so I will try to put yes, it was just pushed into it. Okay. The board is sitting tightly into the case, so I don't think I can extract it by hand. I will try to slowly and delicately lift it. Yes, it's working. Great. Just don't break on me. Oh, yes. Yes, we have it. Nice. 
I can hear those rubber button will cause problems when sliding the board in. Okay, so uh, I won't tell you much because I don't know most of those components. Uh, I can see the high voltage part of the board here, the OLED screen, which is really nice. I believe this device is a rip of, of Mira pen detector, which had a normal LCD screen that was harder to read in daylight or in darker areas. Two push buttons. Here we have the LED. This is probably the buzzer. The chip that reads FM33LCO43M. Cables for the battery cell. This is probably the charging part of the board. The USB C port, obviously. And of course, the Geiger tube. It's HH614202206, which is a production date. I believe this is a Chinese newly fresh, freshly made copy or substitute for the SBM20 Geiger tube. It should have very similar uh, specification. Of course, Chinese manufacturer will claim it's better, but it's really not. And a small charging cell. Sadly, it's glued from the other side. I don't see its uh, capacity, but I'm guessing it's probably 200 uh, milliampere hours. Okay, it looks good, nice. I think if someone is brave enough, he could uh, solder wires either to the buzzer or to the small LED, uh, LED diode to get a signal out of the case and use it, for example, in home assistance. But I'm not going to do this. Uh, I will now assemble this device. I'll try to do it without destroying it. And we will test it with a sample radiation. Okay, it's in. Now I need to put those two rubber buttons at the place. Come on. Okay, one. And the power button. Okay, and we'll put the cap back again, click, slide the rubber band to hide the welding seam or the other cap seam, okay, and let's see if I've managed to destroy it. Now it welcomes us again, the dose is 0.09. This is 0 0.010. This is close enough. Not bad, not terrible. I have a very small radiation sample. It's uranium glass. It's quite small, so we can. We might have to wait a bit for any result. 20. I'm sorry, 12. 
it's it's rising, but it's not not rising fast enough. So I will use use my second radiation sample. This is a 2.7 kilogram uranium glass brick. Uh, it should contain around 80 82 grams of uranium used to give it the color. And we can hear both my yellow detector and this little thing going crazy. It's already at 52. This brick should give around 80 to 90 microsieverts per hour. It, of course, uh, it could be a little bit random because the actual part particle need to go through the tube. So we could uh, have to wait a little bit till the readings stabilize. This one I shows 93 already. And if we leave this one for a moment, it will average all the measurement to around 90 or 80 as well. I'm pretty sure at some point it will also start giving us an alarm beep because uh, being close to this certainly exceeds the dose that we should or what was just advised not to exceed in daily radiation exposure. Okay, uh, this thing works. I will probably leave it for a moment to hear the alarm. Uh, thank you very much and goodbye.